everyone. My name is Melanie. I'm the communications manager at Banzoogle, which is a website and EPK platform for musicians. So I'm here to talk to you today about something that is really important for all musicians, and that's how to create an EPK. No matter what kind of music you play, creating an EPK for your music is an essential way to get your songs heard, provide the media with marketing assets, uh, and to book shows. So today we'll talk about the different kinds of EPKs you can create, depending on your goal for your music and your career. We'll also talk about the things you'll need in your EPK, such as a biography. We'll look at a few examples along the way, and I'll share some design tips with you. Finally, I'll address a few questions that we get asked by musicians regularly about EPK best practices. So thanks for having me today. I'm excited to get started. Um, let's take a look. This is what we're talking about today, how to create an effective EPK for your music. First of all, I just wanted to talk a bit about Banzoogle. As I mentioned, we're a website platform for musicians. We make it easy to build a mobile friendly website and an EPK for your music. There's no coding needed on your part. You can sell music, merch and tickets commission free from your website directly. We also offer a built in crowdfunding feature and a fan subscription option. So if you want to try that out, it's all built into your website. You can send professional email newsletters directly from your website. And we also offer live support seven days a week. Musicians using Banzoogle have sold over $77 million in commission free sales. This number is climbing all the time and we're really proud of uh, all of our members for achieving that. Now, if you do need a website, um, or if you're thinking about moving your website, uh, we have this promo code that you can use. It, this will give you a three month promotional trial plus 15% off your first year. So let's dive right in. First of all, let's talk about what an EPK is. It's an electronic press kit. Uh, it's a professional resume for your career online. It's basically a digital version of what bands or musicians used to send out in a big envelope to press, to venues, to get booked at festivals and that kind of thing. Um, this is the place where industry professionals can hear your music and find out all the information, all the highlights about your career on a single page online. So what are EPKs used for? Um, I always recommend deciding on the goal for your EPK before you start building it. You'll use that goal to create this EPK with the content that you need to promote your music. We often see a general EPK. There's also an EPK for venues. You could create a one sheet for radio and an EPK for media. Starting off with a general EPK, this is probably the most common type of EPK. Every musician should think about building a general EPK on their website. It acts as your online resume. So with that in mind, you'll want to keep updating it as your career evolves. It should contain everything that you need to promote your music all in one place. And this kind of EPK is accessed by fans, by venues. It could be by a radio promoter, by a podcast host, and so on. The things that you want to include in your general EPK are a quote about your music or your performance, uh, a short bio, some music, photos, a video, social media links, and your contact information. This is another type of specific EPK you could build if you're trying to book shows. An EPK for venues is specifically geared towards booking shows or tour. It'll help promote what the live experience is like for your music, for somebody who's never seen you before and might want to book you. So with this in mind, you'll provide all the information a venue might need to both book you and then to promote your show. So a venue, a festival, um, a showcase or private events, all of these people um, are the ones who could be looking at this EPK. If you're creating an EPK for venues, you want to include your bio as well. Your photos, your music, a live video of you playing a show, some press or reviews geared towards your live show, a tech writer or a stage plot or both, 
upcoming shows and social media links, plus your contact information. A one sheet for radio is an EPK that is used specifically to promote a new single. So you would use this kind of EPK if you're pitching to radio stations. It could be traditional commercial radio. Uh, there's also community radio, college radio, internet radio, or you can use this type of EPK if you are gonna be on a podcast, if you're trying to get your music listened to uh, by a blog, uh, or if you're pitching to a playlist. With this type of EPK, you want to include a really clear description of your music or your single, keeping in mind that somebody might visit your one sheet for radio. They might just wanna copy and paste exactly what you've written about your music. So write it out in a way that makes sense. You wanna include your single on this page for streaming. You'll also wanna include photos, press and or reviews if you've gotten any about this specific music, a video, your social media and streaming links, plus your contact information. This is another kind of EPK, an EPK for media. You'll use this type of EPK to get press specifically for a new album. You'll pitch a new album to blogs or other media with the intention of getting interviews or reviews for this specific music. So keeping that in mind, on this type of EPK, you'll include a bio. You'll also include a really detailed album description. Any album-related press that you've gotten so far, reviews of your album, you can always add these as they come in. You want to add an album feature, um, which will include your album artwork plus the entire album. You can set preview clips or you can stream the entire album if you'd like. You can also include a video that goes along with this album release social media links, and contact information. So now that you know about the different types of EPKs, hopefully you've thought about what type you might start with, um, and we'll look at how to prepare those assets in a little bit more detail. A bio. You'll use a bio for pretty much any type of EPK. You'll want to make sure you write it in the third person. Now the reason for that um, is because you will want to think that somebody might come to your EPK and they might just copy and paste your bio. So you want to make sure it's really easy for them just to grab that information and either display it on their own website or perhaps um, in a festival listing or something like that. You can include a few different versions of your bio. Your elevator pitch is really short, um, just a sentence describing your music or yourself really quickly. A short bio is about a paragraph long you can add a few paragraphs as a medium bio or a long bio, four plus paragraphs. Um, the reason for this is that bookers, festivals, and media outlets all have different needs and different word limits for bios. If you only wanna add one bio, I would suggest going with a short bio uh, or medium, a paragraph or two, and make sure the first paragraph is easy to copy and paste. Here's a quick example of a really nice bio. She's got her imagery, it's clearly laid out, uh, it's easy to copy and paste just the start or the whole thing depending on what um, your EPK visitor needs. Next up, your photos. Photos are a really important part of an EPK. Um, they set the tone, they set the tone for your branding. You wanna make sure you include your official promotional photos. They should be really good quality. You can add vertical or horizontal options or both, just to make sure it's easy to crop and include black and white versions as well. You never know where somebody might need to use these photos. It could be to promote your show on social media. It could be for a poster. So with that in mind, you'll want to also include high resolution options that somebody could print, perhaps in a magazine. You can also include the image for your most recent album cover if you're going for album reviews here. Here's some nice photos that are cohesive on the EPK page. They all go together. Um, they're all uh, vertical, but they could be cropped nicely into a square shape um, or horizontally if needed um, to still help promote this artist. Next up is music. You wanna make sure you have your music available on your EPK. 
it should be your latest music. Um, make sure it's available to listen to. You can inf include a few tracks to download as well. And you'll want to put clear information on this page uh, in case the media want to contact you to get the full album download, perhaps they're writing a review. You can also link to your music on Spotify, Apple Music, or other streaming services in case somebody wants to listen to it that way. Here's a nice bright EPK example of uh, a band who is getting some press for their latest album. You can see they have some reviews on the side in, in a column, they have the, their album artwork, and their music is really clear and easy to listen to on this page. They've got a great little description about it as well. The next thing you'll want to add to your EPK is a video. Uh, many blogs and media sites do embed videos of the artists they're covering, and same goes for venues or festivals. If they've booked you to play a show, they often like to use a video to help promote that show. So for that reason, you'll want to embed a few of your best videos in your press kit. This just makes them easy to find. You're essentially um, telling the blogger or uh, the promoter that these are the videos that really show what you can do. Also, if you are booking shows, make sure to include a high quality live video. Next up is press, reviews, and quotes. After all, it wouldn't be a press kit without some press. Uh, so with that in mind, post some links to your best reviews, your best interviews. You can pull a quote from each one and then spice it up visually with the logos of the media source. Make sure to highlight great quotes on the page. Uh, you can also do this uh, with larger text um, or italics, just make it look really good uh, and really stand out on its own. Here's a nice example from a pop singer who's gotten several nice quotes uh, over the years and she's highlighting them on her EPK page along with her photos. You can see the colors go well together. Um, she's got some long quotes and some short quotes and they look really nice on the page. They really stand out. Next, you'll want to include your stage plot if you're booking shows. A stage plot is just a simple visual representation of where each of your band members are located on the stage. You also want to include gear information for each musician in the stage plot. So you'll show where the mics, amps, monitors should be positioned on stage as well. Um, you can provide a full list of gear needed for your live show. And you want to figure out which gear is being provided by the band and what's needed from the promoter. So a stage plot just makes it easy to sort out those details. Here's an example of a few tech writers um, from a pop duo, uh, folk band. They have included different configurations. So they've got their duo, their trio, and their quintet options, depending on which uh, configuration has been booked. You'll also want to include any notable achievements in your EPK. These are your career highlights. So if you've been nominated for awards, if you've won awards, if you've charted on radio, performed at noteworthy festivals, perhaps open for an up and coming band, if you've had success on streaming platforms, on YouTube or on Twitch, anything that helps give positive context to your music and career, this should all be in your EPK. You'll also want to include your contact information. If your EPK is on your website, your contact information is also on your website. But I do recommend putting it on your EPK page as well, just to make it really clear and easy. That way, if somebody only visits your EPK, the contact information will be right there on hand. Now, if you have different members on your team, someone who does your booking, someone who takes care of media, or your different bandmates, you can include different contact information for each of these people. Your social media links. I do recommend adding your social media links to your EPK as well. This is so media and bookers can quickly check you out. They can get a sense of you from your social media presence. Um, they'll find out if you'll help promote the show and what you're like. So for that reason, make sure you only list the social media networks that you're actually active on. Here's a nice bright EPK contact form. Simple, quick, easy to contact, and some colorful social media icons listed underneath. 
here's a resource. Uh, it's on the Banzoogle blog. Um, this can help you if you want a little bit more detail about all the things that should be in your press kit, from your music to your photos. I encourage you to check it out. And now we'll talk about EPK design a little bit. So creating an EPK should be organized. It should be clear. You want to choose only your best content. It can be tempting to add five or six videos, but just pick your best ones. You want to make sure that everything is easy to scan on the page. You can use sections and heading titles to set off the different information. You can place your assets, like your videos, your photos, into columns. And make sure that there's room around the content. It's not just a big cluttered page. You want to make sure everything's easy to take in. That'll make it easy for bookers or media to find what they want right when they get to your page. To make your design stand out, I recommend using imagery. Um, you want to have your professional photos, your promotional photos on the page for download, but you can also use them in the header of the page, in the background of the page. Um, make sure that the background color matches your imagery. And your coordinated colors and fonts also come into play when you're creating an EPK design. You want to make sure that it's easy to read. Your EPK should be part of your branding overall. So you'll want to make sure that it's coordinated with your website and with your social media profiles. It should reflect your new music or your current look, and it should give a sense of you as an artist. Here's a nice EPK design example. Um, this duo have created lots of content and they've staggered it on the page. Uh, they've added some section titles that pop off in bright yellow and they use green from their imagery as well uh, to highlight their reviews. It's easy to look at, the font is clear, it's just easy to take things in and get what you need. Here's another resource, Website Design Inspiration. Uh, we've highlighted a bunch of really good electronic press kits. Uh, they're full of great content. The design is really cohesive on their pages. I encourage you to check them out if you've already created an EPK, but perhaps um, you want to up the design a little bit. So finally, we'll address some frequently asked questions that uh, we get from musicians who are building their EPK or updating their EPK. So let's start off with this one. Where should you have your EPK? Your EPK should be found on your official website. Creating an EPK on your website is a definite way to make sure that your audience will find what they're looking for. Um, they can Google your name, it'll come up, your website always comes up in Google, click through and your EPK is there. So they'll find what they're looking for easily that way, whether it's a music supervisor, a talent buyer, or a blogger. Plus your website is your online home um, for a few good reasons. You own the address, you're guaranteed to own it. Your fans can always find you there. And any promoters, once they've found out your website, they can return there anytime they need these marketing assets. You also own the experience, so there's no distractions on this page. Um, there's no ads or links or external videos and there's no design limits. So you can create an EPK that really matches your style, um, that really shows off your new music, and you can change it anytime you want. So if you release new music, change up the look. You've created this experience, you put the text on the page and the images. These are the things that you want put out there into the world about you. Plus, with a website, you earn more money by selling directly to your fans. Um, there's no commission taken on your sales. Uh, so that's a nice revenue stream for a lot of musicians as well. And you own the data. You can see where your fans are from. You can see what site brought them there. Um, this can help you if you're booking shows and promoting your tour. You can see if you have a lot of fans who are coming over from Facebook. You can see the things that they're Googling to reach your website. You own that data and you can make use of it to further your music career. Another quick question a lot of people ask if the EPK should be hidden or set as a not in menu page. 
I think no. I think you should have it listed clearly in the menu. Um, perhaps you don't want to if you have your full album there for download. However, you can always choose to add previews or have someone contact you if they do want the album. You don't want to make it difficult for media or booking agents to have to take an extra step to find out about you. So for that reason, I always suggest having your EPK in the main menu or as a submenu of your about page. Um, those are the two places that somebody is likely to look when they arrive to your website. Should you password protect your EPK? This is really up to you. Um, I do see a lot of websites with a password. Uh, so with that in mind, you would send out the link, send out the password, someone would have to enter it to access your EPK and its contents. Um, it does make it more inaccessible for people. Um, making your EPK easily found, easily accessible is usually a good idea, especially if you're relying on other people to help you promote your music. Should you create a downloadable version? It definitely can't hurt to include a downloadable version. You can add this as a file right on your EPK page. You can also have a downloadable folder a zip file with all of these same assets available on the EPK page. So you can create a folder that includes different versions of your bio. It could have some PDF versions of your tech writer. It could include your high resolution photos. All of these can be in a folder and you can offer that for download if somebody needs that to help promote your music. You can also create a downloadable version, a PDF of your EPK. You can use that if you're um, doing some outreach, perhaps booking shows or trying to get uh, media attention for your next tracks. Um, you can use that if you'd like in that manner. And that brings us to our next question. If you are sending your EPK out to bookers and the media, should you attach files? Um, as a rule of thumb, no, unless they specifically ask for files, such as a copy of a certain song uh, or a photo. You can attach a PDF of your EPK if you'd like. Otherwise, we recommend sending out the direct link to your EPK with a brief introduction in the email. That way, they read the introduction, they like it, they click through to your EPK, and everything is listed there. How often should you update your EPK? You should update your EPK as often as you possibly can. Uh, time goes so quickly and it's really important to keep your EPK up to date. So anytime you get a new review, add that to your EPK. Uh, if you've gotten new photos, uh, you can replace the older ones on your EPK page. If you've released a new song or a video, um, make sure to add that to your EPK. It should really act as a snapshot of your career in the present moment. So make sure that all of your history plus everything you have going on now is reflected on your EPK page. So make sure to update your bio as well. Any new career highlights, any new releases, add that into your EPK. So if you're interested in creating an EPK, one of the four types I mentioned, uh, you can check out this resource which describes the different uh, EPK templates. Um, each one has different features and you can populate them with your content to create a nice looking EPK. So if you do need a website, I encourage you to check us out. You can use this promo code for a three month trial plus 15% off your first year. And that's it for me. Um, thank you for having me. If you want to check us out at bandzoogle.com, our support team is on live chat seven days a week. And we always love talking to people about building an EPK, um, creating your online presence, working on your website. We'd be happy to hear from you. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this presentation. And I just want to thank you again for having me. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care.